What is up guys, Team the Cat here, back with another drawing tutorial. Today I am going to be drawing the Silver Surfer. Hopefully you can follow along and you learn something as we go. Alright, let's get right to it. So, Silver Surfer is my favorite Marvel character of all time. I've drawn him so many times, and for that reason I'm not going to use reference. I know the character so well. So, let's get right to it. Uh, as always, starting off with this circle in the center. Actually, I'm going to do it a little bit off to the right since he is leaning that way. He's going to be on his board because he is a silver surfer, so he's got to be surfing, right? These rough sketches are, again, very rough. It's the name. You want to keep them not definite. Keep them light. So, with the silver surfer, one thing I've learned is that you can't just draw him like any other character because he is silver so that's very hard to draw unless you're like really good at colors but I'm not so I try to add more details to enhance the appearance the appearance so he's gonna be a little bit more blocky and there's gonna be more lines in him than I would maybe say Captain America like the last drawing if you haven't seen that one and you want to draw it you can check it out it's on my channel Go check out all my videos, there'll be more posts soon. I am getting into the torso. These are just the basic shapes, like I'm not adding many details at all. This is gonna be the left arm. <laughs> Kind of up in a fist like this in the back and with the other arm he's going to be like shooting some of his cosmic blasts you know he's got the power cosmic that galactus gave him if you've never read any silver surfer comics i would highly recommend it my favorite series of his is the dan slot mike allred laura allred that series from like 2014 to 2016 i think it was so good it's what got me hooked on comics and silver surfer also the second series uh, i think it came out in 1982 but don't hold me to that um with ron Lim, he came out like issue 16 but i love ron Lim, silver surfer the way he added all those shiny details so cool so that's gonna be the other fist and the other fist is back here um so this is coming down into his elbow like i said i'm adding like these very rigid shapes where somebody else might flow a little bit more some people might draw him differently, but that's this is how I like to draw him. This is working into the chest. And his legs are going to be kind of in a weird position. So, hopefully you can get that right. So keep it in pencil, like I said, so that you can erase. I am using a Bic 0.5 millimeter pencil. You can find it at any basic. It's not fancy at all, but it works. I like the thinner lead because it comes out lighter and you can press down more and it still won't come out as dark as like a 0.7 or 0.9. 0.9 is really thick. I've looked for some 0.3 because I've heard that those are good, but I can't find any besides it's very expensive online. This is now the fist. He's got, like I said, he's shooting some cosmic bolts or whatever you want to call them. Working that last finger. I'm actually going to make his bicep a little bit bigger, just to match the proportions. Um, I am using marker paper, if you want to know it. You can find that like Michael's or wherever, any art store. Okay. 
So right now I'm adding in those like little lines that I was talking about that will help enhance the odd look of the surfer. Norin Rad. That is his real name. I did not know. I will be releasing a time lapse video like I did of the Captain America one. If you just want to watch it instead of hearing me talk. <laughs> I'm gonna give him a little six pack. Cause why not? It's very good. Almost done with these details on the body. Okay. I'm gonna make that one a little bit bigger. Now I'm gonna work in that other fist. Okay. Working down into the hips. I'm actually going to curve that in just a little bit more. And this front leg, I think you would say it is. But that's going to come over here. And he's in like kind of a weird stance. So just stick with me for a moment while I show you. So that leg's going to come over. Round that off back here. There's his calf. And then the other leg is coming out from behind that, like that. Okay. And that one's gonna come down to here. And into the foot. We'll get back into the feet in just a minute. Okay, and then the board, he's on his board, he's going to come back around here, and right to the edge of that paper. And I'm gonna finish off these feet. I'm not very good with feet, so if you can do it better than me, go for it. Okay. Um, some people do five lines on the board. I like to do three lines. I think it looks less crowded, also it's easier, so you can put five if you want, but I do three. Alright, let's work in some details on the legs.
that's going to be the knee there, so you want to, like, make sure that you can see that knee shape. Want to make it look as 3D as possible. Always the goal. Same with this, that's the knee as well. I'm going to actually change that foot up just a little bit. Alright, just the face left. I'm gonna lighten up those guidelines in there so that it'll be easier to erase. Make that lighter. Okay. Now I'm gonna give him kind of squarish eyes. Sometimes they're circular. I like the square. I don't know. A little bit of a nose. Some angry eyes. I'm gonna give him a little bit of knuckles. And then some details on that forehead, like where that's where the light's hitting, so a little bit of a jawline. Actually, not quite. Fooled you there. Alright, those are the pencils. So, for the inks, we'll be using Pig Microns. I've got the 05 and the 02. Starting off with the 05. Actually, before I do that, that eye is not quite centered. So, I'm gonna lower that down. Wish you could erase everything. Like if markers could erase, if pens could erase. I mean, I know some pens and markers can't erase, but not like the nice ones that look good. Make that jawline a little bit more rigid. Bring that one in. And that jawline. Okay. Moving on to those shoulders. couple lines as I go. Tell them how it feels good. Just how it feels right. A lot of times what helps me is when like I mess up and then that line actually looks good on there so that changes it. I don't know it's weird but that helps me so whenever you mess up think about that next time and maybe that line actually looks good there like it's like a detail like these. If 
you're liking this video, make sure to stay tuned for more and um, subscribe to my channel so that I can get more videos out there. Like these, like the video, check out my other videos. I got a Captain America drawing out there and the speed, the sped up, no, uh, time lapse. <laughs> Can't talk right now. Uh, time lapse version of that if you want to check that out. I will be coloring in this drawing with alcohol markers. I use alcohol. I just realized that I didn't even use the zero two, and I don't think I'm going to. Um, so now moving on to the board. Make sure you. I'm gonna like go part way on one side, and then part way on the other to try to keep it even. I want to keep those lines as even as possible. right now that I hit the leg. Alright, and that is the inked silver surfer. Alright, now we're moving on to markers. I've got the cool gray zero zero to start it off. And we just want to hit up. Oh, my bad. I completely forgot about erasing. That was close. You always want to erase before you do the markers, because then one, the markers would very much smudge and the eraser would be stuck underneath the marker layer it's weird i don't know why it happens but like the the markers like are like a coating to cover up the pencil so that you also want to get all your eraser shavings off otherwise those will get stuck under there also unless you want them stuck under there which i don't know why you would does look a little incomplete now, but we'll fill those gaps with the markers. I'm gonna add a couple things. Not with my pencil, to use on the rack today. But with my 05. Right here I missed that. There's another thing. I'll appear in that, that knuckle. Always, always, always go back and check if you missed anything after you're done with your erasing. Alright, now we're on to the markers. Zero two. I mean, the zero zero. I'm mostly highlighting these lines with a couple exceptions like under there because that's like darker than everything else but mostly i'm just going on those lines i like to use those as guidelines and up the neck like that whole area again i'm using those as guidelines 
around that whole area I'm coloring in. I'm gonna hit up the fist quite a bit. I'm going to do the board after. I'm just going to get him done first and then I'll move on to the board. The face is quite dark. And the eyes may hurt. Okay. Now, moving on to blue-gray blue three. I like to add a little bit of blue to my surfer. I think that's just a little bit darker than the last one. I'll add more of a differential between the two. The nice thing about calling silver surfer as hard as it is with all the silvers, you can use the white quite a bit of the paper. I take advantage of. I'm kind of just putting it down in random spots now. And I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go in with the cool gray too, even, and add some darker spots more on those lines to um, really make them pop a lot. Yeah, I'm liking that. Even how subtle it is, it just makes it pop so much. body is done. Moving on to the board. Back to the cool gray zero zero. The board, I'm gonna make it darker underneath the feet definitely because that's gonna leave a shadow. And then I'm gonna say the light is hitting like right about there. So I'm gonna kind of go around that. And then Back here, especially, I'm going to add some shading. Alright. On to the BG3, Blue Gray 3. That one's just a little bit darker. You can barely tell. It's more, it's not even darker. It's more of just like a different kind of that shade. Since it has more blue in it. I really like the contrast of the two. And again, going in with the cool gray too to get those dark areas under the feet, under his thigh there. I'm going to make the board even a little bit darker than the actual body, just to have that again Contrast is great. I like contrast. Kind of go and swirl it on this so that you can really tell the difference between him and his board. Even though there's not much of a difference, you want to see that difference.
Okay, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this, learned something, and go check out Silver Surfer, learn more about him. Keep on drawing, and stay tuned for more. Just like and subscribe my channel. Check out my other videos.